Welcome back to the channel and I want to talk to you today in regards to some issues that people are having with the Bosch heat pump dryer and what they're saying in the forums and some reviews of the dryer itself is that the dryer does not dry the clothes fully. So you'll do a drying cycle, put your hand in to get the clothes out and the clothes will still be a little damp. Now this is true under certain circumstances but I've managed to solve this problem. Let me show you how. Now I mentioned before that under certain circumstances it won't dry everything fully. And the circumstances that I've personally found is when you're drying uh, sheets, uh, bed sheets, and when you're drying lots of towels. Now when drying normal clothes, I've never had any problems with uh, the clothes being damp. So it may just be a setting that you're using uh, versus what I'm using. So I'm gonna share with you what I use to dry the clothes. So I'll just turn the dryer on. When I refer to a normal load, I'm talking pants, um, shirts, singlets, uh, tracksuit pants, sweatshirts, and things like that. Okay, you can see that it defaults to cottons, which is fine, I use that cotton setting. Now under here, uh, where is it? Uh, you'll see it's defaults to closet dry. So what I do is I click the drying target button and change it from closet to closet plus. And this is, again, when I'm just uh, drying a normal clothes load and have always found them to be 100% dry. Now, one thing to ignore, of course, if you're getting a bit of a shock, is the three hour and 12 minute uh, time that appears on the display. Now, it's never gonna take that long to dry because the dryer comes with a sensor that measures um, the moisture in the clothes and it may turn off in an hour and a half. So never worry about that time. Now, if I'm doing uh, a set of sheets, which is what I did just the other day, which is what prompted me to do this video, um, I did a set of sheets and after this drying cycle, they were still wet. So what I did, or I wouldn't say wet, I would say damp. So what I did is I overrode uh, the selection of the dryer itself. So what happens is when you set it to cottons or easy care, mix, delicates, uh, wool finish, or any of these others, it will turn off when the sensor believes the clothes are dry, which is part of the problem. So what you do is you scroll all the way down to here and the bottom two you've got timed program cold and timed program warm so we'll select warm in this case cold will be for items that uh, you don't want to get um, too hot so that would be your delicates if under delicate settings i've never used it personally but if they were still a bit damp then you would use your timed program cold but in the case of sheets I'm using time to program warm. And you can see here, it comes up with a time. So in this case, 20 minutes, and you can just use the plus and minus to go 20, 40, 50. So what I would recommend is, let's say selecting 30 minutes after it's done the drying, uh, click start and it'll start running. And then after it's finished, put your hand in. If it's still a bit damp, do the same again, another 20, 30 minutes, and you'll find at least after one to two goes. For me, it took two goes, um, so I think it was uh, an extra 50 minutes all up. The sheets were totally dry. And the reason they stay wet is just the nature of the sheets and the way uh, the dryer measures the moisture because the sheets have a tendency to bundle up into a ball and all the moisture is in the middle and the dryer thinks that it's dry because it's dry on the outside. Anyway, that's pretty much it. This is how you get around the drying problem. I hope this has been a help to you. Nice short video. 
If it has been a help, uh, consider giving it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more uh, tips and tricks, uh, feel free to subscribe. Thanks very much for joining us and we'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.